Hey everyone, welcome back to my new Alight Motion tutorial. And today we are going to create this. So let's start the video. Open a Light Motion app and create a new project. Select resolution 1080p and change frame rate to 60 FPS. First, we will make a reference text layer. For that, click on this plus icon. Go to text option and here write your text whatever you want. Select any font according to your choice, or you can use the same font I am using. I have given the download link in description. Click here to align the text in center. And increase the size to around 56. And let's change the text color to white. After that we will go to blending and opacity. Here decrease the text opacity 40 to 50%. Now we will make background, for that add a rectangle shape. Then click on this three dots, and select stretch to composition area. To make it full screen. Let's change the background color. Go to color and fill option. And here select any color according to your choice. Then we will rename this layer to background. Also move this layer down, so that we can see our text layer. Now we will make some lines for guide. For that click on plus icon, go to vector drawing option. And here make a simple line, like this. Go to color and fill option, and here disable line color. Then go to border and shadow option. Here first enable stroke option, then change stroke color to white, so that line get visible. Now what we will do, we will place this line below the text layer. For that, go to move and transform. And from position we will place this line below the text layer, like this. After that click on layer option, and make a duplicate layer. Let's select this duplicate layer, again go to move and transform. And this time place this line above the text layer, like this. Again make a duplicate layer. Then click here, enable grid option, and keep the grid value to 40. Also zoom in the preview, so that we can see the grid lines clearly. Let's select this duplicate layer, go to move and transform. By using this grid, we will place this line 5 rows above from the text, like this. Make one more duplicate layer. Select the layer, again go to move and transform. And this time place this line 5 rows below from the text, like this. After that, you have to zoom out the preview, and disable the grid lines. Then select all the lines and make a group layer. And rename the group layer to guide. Now to make the bounce animation, we have to write all the letters in separate layers. So that we can easily animate each letter. Click on plus icon, go to text option. And write your first letter. Then select the same font you have used in reference text. Click here to align text in center, and increase size to 56. Also change the color according to your choice, and decrease this space around the text. Now we will go to move and transform, and adjust the letter position according to reference text, like this. Click on position icon, to edit pivot point, and we will move the pivot point to the base of this letter, like this. Make a duplicate layer for second letter. Then select this duplicate layer, go to edit text option, and write second letter. Also rename the layer, so that we don't get confused later. Again go to move and transform, and adjust the letter position according to the reference layer. Now follow the same process to write all the letters. I will fast forward this steps, to save your time. You can also change the color of some letters if you want. Select the letter you want to change, then go to color and fill. And select any color according to your choice. To use the same color in other letters, click on layer option, and copy layer style. Then select the letters you want to change color. Again click on layer icon, go to paste style, and here disable all option except from color and fill. 
Then click on paste to apply same color. Now let's select this first letter. Go to move and transform option. In position, add keyframe at starting. Go to around 18 frames. Click on timer to add a mark. Then add a keyframe. Go to around 35 frames. Here also add a mark, and add a keyframe. Now come to first keyframe. And move this letter down until it's touched the line, like this. Then go to second keyframe. And here move this letter up until it's touched the line. Let's preview this, and we will get this bounce animation. To make this animation smooth, go to speed curve. In between first and second keyframe, make the curve like this. Then for second and third keyframe, make the curve like this. Now follow this same process to animate all the letters. I will first forward this video, to save your time. After completing all the letters, if we preview this, we will get this cool bounce animation. Now select this first letter, again go to move and transform. This time click on scale, and click here to unlink width and height value. Add keyframe at starting. Go to around 18 frames, and add a keyframe. Then go to around 35 frames, and add a keyframe. Then let's come to 18 keyframes. Here decrease width value to 120 and increase height value to 250. Then go to around 39 frames, and add a keyframe. Go to around 44 frames, and add a keyframe. After that go to around 49 frames, and add a keyframe. Now come to 39 frames, here increase width value to 200. And decrease height value to 170. Then go to 44 frames. Here increase the width value to 180, and decrease the height value to 190. Now if we preview this, we will get this bouncy effect. Also to make this animation more smooth, go to speed curve, and make a curve like this. Now we will apply this same curve to all these keyframes. For that, click on this three dots, and copy curve. To paste this curve to all keyframes. Again click on this three dots, and select paste curve to all keyframes. Now follow this same process with all this other letters. I will fast forward this video, to save your time. After completing all the letters. Let's select this first letter, Go to Blending and Opacity. Here add a keyframe at starting. Go to around 10 frames, and add a keyframe. Come back to first keyframe, and here change the opacity value to 0. To create a reveal animation. Go to Speed Curve, and make the curve like this. Now to apply this reveal animation to all letters. Click on this Layer option, and Copy Layer. Then select all the other letters. Again click on this layer option, go to paste style. And here disable all options, except from blending and opacity. Then click on paste. Now if we preview it, we will get this animation. Then click on plus icon, and add a circle shape. Let's go to color and fill option. And here select any color according to your choice. Then go to move and transform. First click on scale, and decrease the size to around 30. Then from position, move the circle to right side, and place it after all the letter. Like this. After that select the first letter, and move it 2 frames forward. Then select the second letter, and move it 5 frames forward. Select the third letter, and move it 8 frames forward. Now follow the same process, and place all the letters in 3 frames gap. So that all the letters come up one after one. 
Now we will animate this circle. Select the circle layer, go to move and transform. In position, add keyframe at starting. Go to around 49 frames and add keyframe. Then come to first keyframe and move the circle to left side like this. Go to speed curve and make the curve like this. Also click on this three dots and copy this curve so that we can use this same curve later. After that go to blending and opacity. Go to around five frames and add keyframe. Then come to starting, add keyframe. And here change the opacity to zero to create a reveal animation. Go to speed curve, click on three dots and paste the curve which we copied before. Let's preview this and we will get this animation. Now we will take this animation one level further. We will animate the circle above I letter. For that, select I letter, go to effects and add wipe effect. Here change the angle value to 90 degree and change start value to around 35% to hide the default circle. Now go to around 40 frames. Click on plus icon and add a new circle. Let's go to color and fill and here select any color according to your choice. Then go to move and transform. First click on scale and decrease the size to around 30. Then click on position and move this circle above the I letter. Come to 40 frames, add keyframe and move this circle up until it's touched the line. Then go to 50 frames, add a keyframe. And here move this circle down, make sure it touch the letter. Go to around 58 frames, add keyframe. Here again move this circle up, but this time don't touch the line. We are doing this to create a bounce animation. Then go to 1 second 4 frames, add keyframe. And here again move it down, make sure it touch the letter. Go to 1 second 10 frames, add keyframe. And here again move it up a little bit, just like this. Then go to 1 second 14 frames, add keyframe. And move it down, make sure it touch the letter. After that go to around 1 second 18 frames, and add one last keyframe. And here move it up, and placed above the reference circle. Then come to first keyframe, go to speed curve, and between first and second keyframe, make the curve like this. When the circle is coming down, also, click on three dots and copy this curve. Then between second and third keyframe, make the curve like this. When the circle is going up. Now follow this same process. Between all the keyframes when the circle is coming down, paste this curve. And when the circle is going up, make the curve like this. Then go to blending and opacity. Come to 42 frames and add keyframe. After that come to 40 frames, add keyframe. And here decrease the opacity to zero. Also go to speed curve, click on three dots and paste the same curve here. Now our animation is ready. Also scroll down, hide this guide and reference text layer. Now let's preview it and we will get this cool bouncy text animation. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, make sure to like this video subscribe to the channel and press that bell icon so that you get notified. I will see you in my next video, till then peace out.